ain't no get you sign us. We send it by the hotel. Tell the world for shit to suck it. Cause we own ya. We own ya. We own ya. Tell the world for shit to suck it. Cause we own ya. YouTube. How you guys doing today? So I'm bringing you guys another gadget from the Black Panther movie. You guys really seem to love the projects I'm doing about this movie. So I've got another one for you. It's pretty much exhausted the claws. I think I've made three different ones. If you haven't seen them, they're freaking sweet. Go check them out. Literally, claws are just probably one of the most fun things you can make. I like it. <laughs> So I was combing through scenes on the movie, looking for other cool stuff to make. So I came across this one scene uh, where the bad guy, Claw, I think his name is. Um, anyway, the dude has a robotic arm that literally like splits in half and a giant like freaking laser sonic gun, vibranium gun. No idea actually what it is, but it looked freaking sweet and I want one. Here's the scene. So as you can see, his arm literally splits open and some sort of like vibranium blaster pops out and he's able to shoot ish up just like that. So we're gonna try and recreate that using stuff that I actually have access to, to kind of give a similar effect. I don't know how easy this build's going to be. I'll leave as much links in the description as I can. Um, I'm planning on using my two watt blue laser uh, to add a little bit of kick to this build and a bunch of LEDs, maybe an Arduino. So uh, I'll take you through it the best I can, but I don't know how I'm gonna build this yet. It's kind of teaching myself too, as well as bringing you guys along for uh, the journey. So with that being said, let's make another gadget from the Black Panther movie right now. So I first started out with a piece of PVC. I was gonna use metal originally, but PVC is a lot easier to work with. Um, plus I can just paint it metal to make it look like it. But yeah, anyway, drilled some holes in it. from the movie, um, I took a couple screenshots, here you go. The barrel has like seven glowing ports on each side. It sticks out of his arm and yeah, just glows with this blue color. Um, and then when he actually shoots it, it goes yellow. Um, so I'm gonna try and emulate that with a bunch of uh, blue LEDs as well as yellow LEDs and um, try and control it somehow, maybe with an Arduino. So first things first, drilled all the holes in the PVC and then I soldered up seven blue LEDs as well as seven yellow LEDs. Drilled some more holes in the top and bottom of the barrel and uh, stuck those down in there. As you can see, when I attach a 9 volt, they all glow and it kind of lights up the inside of the barrel, giving it that glowing effect the movie has. Now, because unfortunately I broke my saw, I can't actually cut off my arm for this build. Ah, uh, maybe next time. But uh, for now, we're gonna be strapping this to the outside of our arm um, and kind of having it project off without actually splitting our arm open. So I'm planning on attaching it to the base of my arm, maybe with some nylon bands or whatever else I find. So I went ahead and wired up all of the LEDs to the device, and then I covered them up with some uh, aluminum that I got from a couple soda cans, just to make it look a little bit cleaner. And now here's where it gets a little tricky. Because I did a lot of iterations, I wasn't able to film everything that I did. Pretty much, I just mounted the device to uh, this like nylon strap thing I found, powered it off of two 9 volt batteries, and I attached the two watt laser to the back so it would shine through the pipe and out the end, and yeah, we can burn some stuff and do all the cool laser tricks that uh, you guys all know and love. And then to control the LEDs, we wired them up to the Arduino. I uploaded just a simple fade program, so every one second 
it'll fade up and then fade back down, giving it a cool like pulsing sci-fi effect. Yeah, that just adds to the device. And I think I recorded a couple time lapses of me soldering and whatnot. Yes, this is what I came up with uh, in the end result. So I'm just gonna walk you through this, explain kind of how I did stuff. As you can see, we've got the quote unquote metal barrel right here. Um, got the rails on the top and the bottom kind of concealing the LEDs inside. Got the laser mounted back here. Uh, two batteries on either side to control it. And uh, we've got this switch right here and the Arduino on the bottom. So the first feature I'll show you is the fading of the blue LEDs. So let me kill the lights real quick. So if we flip this switch, it'll turn on and it'll start fading. I have some blue LEDs on in the background that I think are not helping. There we go. So as you can see, fades up, fades out, just like the one in the movie. Well, actually, I don't know if the one in the movie faded. The scenes were too quick, but uh, this one fades and I think it makes it look really cool. Yeah, so that's coming from our seven blue LEDs down in there. So yeah, that's that. The other feature, obviously, is the laser. So these LEDs only run off of one battery, but it has two batteries, and that is because uh, you get more burning power from the laser, obviously, gotta do that. So if you remember from the movie, whenever he shoots the vibranium blast, laser, sonic blast, again, don't know what it is, it all lights up yellow on the barrel as well. So I included, as well as these seven LEDs, I also included seven more yellow LEDs in there. So whenever I shoot the laser, those go on as well. So. Here we go, it's trigger switch. Let me just put this on for you. These bands just uh, help it stay to my wrist. Again, because I didn't want to cut off my arm. Haters will say I'm not completely committed. Who knows, maybe for version two. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, it's attached to my wrist. Kind of a laser gauntlet cannon, what have you. But yeah, when I press this kind of button that I remapped to my hand, a laser will shoot out and the yellow LEDs will flash on. So check this out. kind of maxing out the camera. Oh yeah, also the blue LEDs shut off when I do that and just the uh, yellow LEDs go on, so. There we go. The blue you see is actually from the lasers. As you can see when I stop pressing it, the fading LEDs come back on, but uh, as soon as I press it, they shut off and it's just the yellow ones that pop on. <sighs> Pretty cool. You can see they go yellow inside there just like the movie. So yeah, that's pretty much how this works. All the other stuff I did was just pretty much detailing. I overlaid more metal, went over everything with some uh, with a silver marker, just to give it a little bit of a better look. Like down here, I added some more detailing and just other stuff like that. Some um, pieces right here, just to kind of cover up the batteries and make it a little look a little bit more sci-fi. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So what do you say we go uh, test this thing out? <laughs> Most efficient way to cut tape, guaranteed. There we go guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you did like it, you know what I'm gonna say. Subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. We just actually hit 700,000 subscribers today, or the day that I'm filming this. So I just wanna thank you guys very much. That's a huge number, like holy sh Never would've seen, never, never, uh, all YouTubers say it, but it's really like true. It's just a weird, large, weirdly large number, considering I'm just a dude in a freaking, cave talking to a camera alone at night 
Uh, internet's a cool thing. Um, yeah, it's also because of you guys that uh, just a hobby I had. I always loved making stuff, even before YouTube. Kept fascinated with cool tech gadgets, understanding how stuff works, building stuff on my own. Um, so it just means a lot that you guys like what I do and uh, allow me to do this as an actual job. So also follow me on Instagram, link below. Um, just had to throw that plug in there, why not? Let me know what you guys think of the Black Panther movie. And that's pretty much all I've got, so take it easy and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace out guys.